stupid wind. sure don't see that every day. I've heard blowouts from semi truck tires on the other sides of the interstate that were like really loud. That one didn't seem to be so loud. But um, <laughs> that was you just don't see that every day and get it on film. Finally. Got something a little bit more exciting than my side cover blowing off thought that would be it. And it ain't even your August show. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? <laughs> All right, well. This place has fuel, and it's got a classic fuel pump, which is kind of cool. It's 5.15 a gallon, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. Another gas, not another gas station for a little while, and that was below a quarter tank. And I'm thinking, when you're in Montana or Idaho now and you're at a quarter tank, you definitely better not push it. Cool. Haven't seen a gas, gas pump like this in ages. So now you know how to f fuel up a gold wing. Nice. They got a camera up here to watch the pump. I don't somewhere. Nice little place. I am south of I don't even know. I forget Idaho Falls. On the way to Salt Lake City. And there's like high wind warnings. I don't know what the speed of the winds is, but it's not fun. So this kind of sucks. I didn't just go the wrong way. No, I didn't. Because I was too busy turning on the GoPro to pay attention. My gas mileage is 26 versus the 40 I normally get thanks to the stupid wind. Crazy, crazy wind. I don't know. I don't know what the velocity of the wind is. The wind speed. But it looks nasty over there. For sure. At 99 miles to Salt Lake City. So let's bring it. the brutal winds still got the 26 miles per gallon instead of 40 
but at least we're hitting another state. Hello, Utah. Hello, Salt Lake City. We've been here before, but not on a motorcycle and not in 100 degree weather it feels like and 60 miles an hour winds it feels like. It's brutal. Brutal. This is... There's nothing fun about this portion of the ride. I was freezing my butt off this morning and now I'm baking. But it's all part of the adventure. Did I mention how much I'm hating life right now? <laughs> it's a good day to own a gold wing. Unless it's hot as hell and you're stuck in Salt Lake City rush hour traffic. <sighs> all right, well. I think I'm out of the winds finally, now that I'm heading more into the mountains toward Cortez, Colorado. Should get there around 10. Maybe I could find a place to bed down or take a five hour caffeinated little drink deal and press on for the final four hours. Back to home. We shall see. But for now, this is actually an enjoyable ride. Still pretty, pretty hot. Don't know how hot. Didn't check. Feels hot. Looks pretty. I'm just now turning toward Moab. And still have. Uh, a couple hours. We pass Moab and shoot for Cortez when I get in about 11 o'clock. And call it a night there. It's been a long day. Got up at 4 a.m. So right now I am at 16 hours on the road. I should just push on and go home, but it'll be 3 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know day. Okay. So I gave up on trying to make it in one day and trying to make it to Cortez and <laughs> stayed at the roadway in in Monticello Utah and now we're headed out back home about four hours five hours Right as soon as we get some fuel. She's thirsty. She's been very thirsty. Hopefully today will be a little different. But we shall see. Okay. I guess there was no welcome to Colorado sign. But welcome to Colorado. Again. So, apparently, I have crossed over into another state without realizing it. I'm, I'm pretty good at that. Okay. So, about an hour ago, my battery died. And that's when I remembered I didn't charge up the other two this morning or plug them in to be charging. But that's alright didn't miss a whole lot and uh, it's a good time to just wrap up this whole thing as I roll into Rio Rancho just north of the house it's been a great trip longest one that I've ever had and I've had this bike for 22 years done many 12-hour rides but never back-to-back 
three day rides, especially if, like this from uh, New Mexico to Canada. Bikes perform great, running kind of rich right now and only getting 25 miles to the gallon and I was blaming that on the wind, which there was some pretty crazy winds, but not this last couple of tank full, so I don't know something's going on there. I have to figure it out, give the bike a good good uh, once over, tune up, Let's see if that fixes my gas problem, but hit 170,000 miles on this on this trip and uh, I mean come on it's a long ride to only have a side cover blow off and some bad bad uh, fuel mileage all things considered but really it's been a great 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 ride loved seeing my 92 year old Aunt Fern it's been about six years and uh, saw Montana never been there been to Idaho but didn't see quite as much Idaho as before as I did this time or Utah or well seen more of Colorado I guess but great experience especially considering my cruise control went out and if you're a rider you can appreciate the uh, the I don't know pain at times of having to hold a throttle for that that kind of time not terribly difficult but still still a pain um, man what a bike Honda Goldwing you just can't say enough about the Honda Goldwing amazing machine that is for sure and that's about that for this ride the longest one ever three days up three days back was going to make it four days back and hit the Canadian Rockies and a little closer to the American Rockies but but uh rain kind of delayed my stay which was nice spent an extra couple days with, with my aunt and my cousins which was great but that uh, meant I kind of needed to take the more direct route back and that's all right that is okay so get a gold wing it's a good day to own a gold wing <laughs>